So, good day, everyone. Good day, sir. So, today, we are going to study grammar involving the rule in using the phrase used to in a sentence. So, before we start, I just want to remind everyone that if you have questions, please press the raise hand button for me to address it. Is it okay? Okay, sir. Okay. So, today we are going to study teaching grammar from examples used to. Okay, so here are examples and I, wa I want you to do is for you to analyze the sentences and then figure out the rule in using the phrase used to. I will be giving you five minutes or two to three minutes to analyze the two sentences. Is that okay? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, are you ready? Yes, sir. Okay, so I have a question for you. What did you notice um, in the rule using the phrase used to in both of the sentences? Santos, sir. Yes, Miss Santos. Um, sir, I have noticed that when using the phrase used to, the verb will take its base form. Yes, you are correct, Miss Santos. Uh, if you noticed in the two sentences, they've used the base form of the verb after the phrase used to. And with that, we are following the structure subject plus the phrase used to, plus the verb in its base form. Can you repeat? Can you repeat the structure? Sir, panagsagan po. Yes, it's panagsagan. Sir, it follows the structure, first the subject, plus the used to, plus the verb or the base form. Okay. Thank you, Ms. Panagsagan. So we have to remember the structure in using the phrase used to. Okay, so I have to remind you and you have to remember that used to has no present form. Why do you think so? Sir Cortez po. Yes, Ms. Cortez. Um, used to has no present form because we use used to to indicate past states of or habits. Okay, very good, Miss uh, Cortez. Okay, so we only use the phrase used to when indicating past events. Therefore, we cannot use the present form or the future form. Did you get it? Yes, sir. Any questions? None, None so sir. Okay. None so, so far, po. Let's have a, re a brief recapitulation. So the structure... Oh, so what's it, what is the structure followed in using the phrase used to? Who wants to answer? If you really understand the lesson, yes, what uh, is the structure that we should follow in using the phrase used to? Cortez po. Yes, Miss Cortez. Um, in using the phrase used to, we are following the, the structure subject plus used to plus verb, which is the base form. Okay, very good, Ms. Cortez. So, since that you really understand the lesson, 
So this is all for today. Goodbye, class, and see you next meeting. Thank you, sir. Goodbye, Thank you, sir. Thank you.